Hey there, welcome back to E-Fishing. I'm Rodney, and today we're gonna work on painting another crankbait today. I ended up finding some of these rock crawler knockoff blanks, so I don't know how they run, but um, we're gonna try this pattern I've been kind of boiling around in my head, and I'm gonna call it Phantom Purple Crawl, and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. I've been kind of wanting purple crankbait to fish for smallmouth and today's gonna be the day we're gonna give it a try so hang on we're gonna paint this rock crawler knockoff I've already got it taped off I've scuffed it up a little bit with the Scott Bright pad and everything so there it is that's what we're gonna be painting on today so y'all hang on we're gonna start painting all right, we're here at the bench. We're ready to start painting. We're going to start off with some of this Createx transparent black here. And since we want this to be a, a phantom crankbait, we're not going to lay down a white base coat or anything. We want it to be translucent. So well, let's get started. All right, we're going to start with this uh, stencil I've got here, and it's just a card that I've... Uh, cut out and then put some clear tape on it just to give it a little rigidity so that it'll last a little longer but here we go we're just going to lay it on here there's the first part of it all right for the next part here I've got a little other little stencil I made just by taking a popsicle stick and tracing the outline on this piece of painters tape so I'm just going to use it to make the rest of these uh, scallops here Alright, so I'm going to dry this off and I'm going to heat set this and we'll be back in just a minute. Alright, before we go to the next side, I'm going to put some lines across here just so we have some reference points when we're doing the other side so everything lines up, hopefully. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but right here, I apparently dibbled a little bit of paint. So, a good thing to have on hand for little emergencies like this is Q-tips. I'm just going to dip that down in a little bit of water. And I'm just going to dry it off a little bit. And then just... erase that thing off of there and then take the dry end like that and fix it all right I'm gonna heat set this and we'll be right back all right we're back here ready to do the next side like so and we've got our 
scallops put on. I'm going to heat set it and then we're going to be back. All right, since we still got the black in the paintbrush, I'm going to go ahead and darken the head up here just a little bit. All right, I'm going to heat set that. I'm going to change colors, empty this black out, and we'll be right back. All right, so the next part we're going to do, we're going to do the belly, and we're going to use some of this transparent bright red on that. So, got it loaded up, and we're ready to shoot it. And we're not going to put a whole lot on there, just a little bit. That's going to be it, right there. We're going to heat set it. We'll be right back. All right, our next color is going to be this transparent violet, and that's going to be our main purple color. And we're going to just spray the whole body except the belly with this. So here we go. And just remember when you're doing these transparent colors, you can layer them up to get them as dark as you want. So I'm going to put a little more on the back. I do want the back to be a little darker. And that's going to be it for our purple color. Looking pretty good, huh? So hang on, I want to heat set this. We'll be right back for the next color. All right, our last color we're going to put on here is some of this folk art color shift. Purple, it's called Purple Flash. I don't know if you can see it there on the top. That's what it's supposed to do. I don't know. We're going to give it a try and see how it works. So I've already got it loaded up in the paintbrush. And that folk art paint is kind of thick. So I put like 10 drops of reducer in and one drop of paint. So we're gonna see how that works. All right, we're gonna let that dry cause it's a little thin. And then we may put another coat on it here in a minute. We'll be back. All right, we got that dry first coat dry. So now let's uh, try another another pass on this and see what happens. All right, there we go. I don't know if y'all can see that changing colors or not. Looks pretty good. We're gonna dry it up, and then we'll be right back. All right here it is almost done don't look bad I don't think back kind of shifts from purple to blue which I think is kind of cool so we're gonna put some red eyeballs on this thing but first I have to lay down some white on there so that red will show up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this opaque white here. I'm going to take a Q-tip, a clean Q-tip, and I'm going to roll it around down there in that paint. Get some on the end of that. And then... I'm going to take my ball here, got a little stray on there, pull that off there. I'm going to just dot that paint on there. I'm going to load it back up, and then we're going to do the other side. Like that. I'm 
I'm trying to get a little bit more paint on the end here and dot right there in the center. Like that. And then we'll do the other side. All right, we got the white layer down. We're going to heat set it and we'll be back. All right, we're ready to do the red eyeballs now. So we got our red. We've heat set the white part. So we're just going to do the same thing as we're going to roll this thing down in this paint. First thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of roll it down to make a little point on the end of that, like that. Then we're going to dip it back down in our red. Now let's put our red eyeballs on. And then if it doesn't completely cover up the white, dab it around. You might have to get some more paint. dab them up on there you don't want a lot you don't have to put a lot on it there we go we got our red eyes. We'll heat set them and we'll be right back. All right. There's our phantom purple crawl. We've got a purple thumb now. But that's all right. It'll wash off. Y'all can see the color shift on the edge from blue to purple. Got the red eyeballs on there. And a red belly. I don't know. We'll see how it works. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go put some put a clear coat on it, and I don't know. I might put a second clear coat on it, put some glitter on it, and if I do, I'll show you all what it looks like after all that does. Y'all don't need to see me putting clear on it. So after it clears up, we'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are. We got the phantom crawl done. Here it is. See what y'all think about that. It looks pretty good, I think. Let me give you a little better shot at it. All right, here it is. The phantom crawl. You can see the red belly and the... I don't know if that color shift does a whole lot on the back or not, but it looks pretty good. You can see the, you can see through it when you look up at the sky, which is what I was kind of going for. Anyways, that's the Phantom Crawl. We're going to try it out sometime. All right, that's going to be it for today. We're going to try this sucker out sometime here in the next couple days. Hopefully we can get to the lake, try it out, see if the old, big old smallmouth will eat it. Until then, I'm Rodney with eFishing. You guys uh, come back again. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you all later. We're out.